twist your words that's why you have like you know you know people who write your stuff for you for public speaking because you got to make sure you say exactly what you mean so people don't twist or play with your words so I got what he was saying but what he said could have been taken the wrong way so I'm kind of like want to make sure me and him are on the same page even if we're not it's okay so in that video the woman did the you know the black mask or whatever the case may be and he was like um black people in the United States are too sensitive because he lives in South Africa so he was like black people in the United States um are too sensitive and they need to just let it go meaning like racism or whatever he said they need to let it go because that's how white people keep the power over the black people this is what he said black people in the United States are too sensitive and that we need to just let it go because that is how the white people keep the power over the black people now <laughs> What well, he's to me that is true to a certain extent, very little extent. Um, uh, because that's like me saying the Trayvon Martin thing, that's like me saying the Trayvon Martin thing. It happened, I just need to let it go, let it go. The Breonna Taylor thing, it happened. But I just need to let it go. Just just let it go. Don't worry about it. We're, it you're too sensitive. It, it was racism, but let it go. You know? Let it go. Race, Racism and, and slavery? That happened a long time ago. Let it go. Um, The dude that got his knee on the neck. Let it go. It's racism. It happened a long time ago. It has nothing to do with what's going on now. Let it go. Let it go. Um, the other, the other little girl. You know, all these people. It's still built off of racism. So it's like if you just sit here and let it go. How many times are you going to just let it go, friend? Like, how you can't just let certain things go because when you brush stuff under the rug and you let it go then therefore you're allowing people to still do things now I'm not saying like fear or be like because what the lady did with the face thing I'm not outraged that's a difference that's being I feel too sensitive but you still need to let somebody know when they're right and when they're wrong because if you just allow somebody to do something and just brush it under the rug, then they're going to continue to do it. And then sometimes things can get worse and worse and worse because you're overlooking it. Now, I'm not saying get outraged because of what the woman did or cancel her or disrespect her and give death threats because no then therefore yes it's just taken out of context maybe she really was trying to embrace the black culture but there's certain ways maybe she could have got a black woman and she could have did the features like maybe let's say the black woman didn't have high cheekbones or the black woman didn't have big lips or whatever so you got a black woman and you did the special effects on a black woman that could have been your way of showing off your special effects makeup there's certain ways you can fix a problem than to say black people are just too sensitive there's different ways you can fix it now you gotta educate the woman and say ma'am this is what I feel you could have done and it wouldn't have came off this way that's what I mean. So don't just say let it go because you can't let stuff go because there I'm not not saying that. I don't want to keep making it a black and white thing, but being the superior, then it's just it's it's hard to let something go. Now, I'm not saying sit here and soak. Okay, I think I'm coming back. Okay, I'm back. I think I'm back.
Am I back? Okay. I'm not saying sit here and soak in it. Now, for the ones who were just saying, oh, I can't make it because I'm black, or oh, you're trying to keep me down. I'm not talking about those people because the, we, you can still find ways to make it in this life. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about those who want to just use it as an excuse. Is it more difficult? Yes, it is. But I'm not saying use racism and back in the day as an excuse because now you do have ways to, you know, make it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But that kind of made me upset when he was like, uh, what did he say when he was like, black people need to just let it go? That's like somebody kill your mama. A white man or somebody come to your house and kill your mama. And then you just be like, oh, don't worry about it. Let it go. It's okay. Let it go. It happened 10 years ago. Let it go. They, it's, it's gone. Let it go. This, if it's something that affected you in a way, I, 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 you know, whatever. I feel like people will never understand because there's no way you can just be black. There's just, there's no, there's no way you can be black. So you're never going to understand. Like it kind of, it kind of upset me today when I saw the guy. Now this was, now what he did was wrong, but the guy who went to those, um, hotels and he was portraying to be and this is what I mean for the the South African guy who's saying let it go. And maybe because you live in South Africa, I don't, I don't, I'm not from there, so I don't know how it is there. But it's racism here. Like it's in the U.S., it's a lot of racism here. And I can't speak on South Africa because I've never been there, so I don't know if you have to deal with going in a restaurant and somebody looking at you funny or somebody saying the word nigga. Even though the word nigger does not bother me, like I don't get like when people, I don't care when people say nigga. But don't put the ER on it. But if you're a white guy and you hanging around black people and you say nigga more than the black folks, then it starts to kind of rub me the wrong way. Because, like, I've been to L.A. where we have white friends and Puerto Rican friends. And they'd be like, man, what's up, what's up, nigga? What's going on? And you understand they're doing it as a greeting. But when you're like, man, that nigga just get on my nerve. Oh, fuck that nigga, man. Nigga, what's what? Then when you just start doing it like that, it's like, okay. I don't even say nigga that much <laughs> and I'm black so you kind of overdoing it buddy you know so the word don't bother me but it's how it's when and how you use the word to me so South Africa has racism okay good so I don't know I'm not from there thank y'all for telling me so I don't know so I don't know why he's thinking like that then so let me go back to what I was saying um fuck where was I 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 Oh my fucking god, because I went on my friend. Where the fuck was I, friend, before I went to the white people saying the word? Where was I before I went to the white people saying the word? What was I saying? I get so. Oh, the guy, Wu Tang. So, um, this is why I say when he says you need to let it go, and I don't agree about letting it go, is because the guy who was going to the hotels. portraying to be Wu-Tang Clan, which is a rapper, a rap group or whatever. They gave this man seven years. Yes, you played these companies out of money, thousands of dollars or whatever the case may be, but it's that company's fault for not being aware and knowing who they're booking into their hotels. And if you were giving this, if you were accommodating this man rooms and luxury stuff or whatever the case may be, and you didn't even think to Google him, staying in my hotel, let me Google, let me look at his name, does the ID match, whatever, whatever, whatever the case may be. And y'all gave this man seven years in prison, but then that white woman, what did she do? Her and her husband were doing the little money the, with the colleges and all she got was like two or three years in prison and she got to pick the prison she wanted to go to? Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's be real here. Let's be fucking real here. 
Like, come on. And this man has got to do seven years for just pretending to be a rapper and he got away with it. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I'm not saying dwell on it as black people because then, yes, once you dwell on something and use it as a crutch or an excuse, then, yes, you give people power. But if you speak on it and you're not doing this to me anymore you're not giving somebody power when you're using it as a, a, a as a as a like you know oh i feel bad for myself i can't believe this i'll never amount to anything then you're giving them power but when you got the black lives matter people who are standing up and saying enough is enough i am done you're not going to do this anymore then you're stripping somebody from their power yes they're going to get mad and start and they're going to start doing what they're doing now trying to make you scared by like telling the police like how Donald Trump then was saying, telling the police, shoot him, throw tear gas at him, do this. That was to scare you and put you back into your place. But when you be like, I don't give a fuck, Nick, I don't care. I Sometimes you have to push it to the limit to let somebody know, look, I'm done. Like you may go to a silent person and you may taunt them all day. Talk about them all day. Bully them all day. And then that one day they get up and knock the fuck out of you. And and you be like, what the? What I look at as the Black Lives Matter movement. Somebody who was bullied for so fucking long and finally decided to get the fuck out. And now you just got a little scared like, what the hell did you say? <laughs> the hell did you just do you know what i'm saying it's just like that to me like i wasn't expecting you to fight back well bitch i did you know and that's what i feel it is and they're just they didn't expect people to fight back like that the way they fought back so they were trying to use any and every type of force to make you calm back down because once you learn your power once you learn how strong you are in numbers are in your brain and that nobody really controls you you are a force to be fucking reckoned with and that's what the superior white people feel is that you can't control me you can't do nothing to me i run this and they know that that's what cer certain people think and once you get that same mindset baby ain't nobody better than anybody the only thing that makes somebody feel like they're better than you is money at the end of the day you eat shit sleep can die get cancer whatever the same way like a black asian hispanic whatever person it's just your money is what places you in a different fucking category not who you are sweetie not because of the color of your skin sweet so even when black people say oh we're the superior or we're this no at the end of the day we all the fucking same to be honest we're all the fucking same but it's just do certain people or certain races have things that are different from other races yes but at the end of the day we're all the same so you know I don't know I don't know. I don't know. Y'all know what... <laughs> I don't know. And I feel the reason some black people say that they feel like they're the... We're not going to get into all of that. But I do... Like I said, certain people have certain things that make you stand out from other races. But I don't... I wouldn't say nobody is better than anybody. But um, there is really something going on with my nose. I don't know, friend. Call me back. Right. Oh, God. I hope there's not a friend in there. No. I really hate nose hairs, you guys. Why y'all think white people freaking out? Nobody think... I don't know what you mean. Oh, you talking about... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Um, It's just, you know... I feel like if everybody stopped trying to outdo everybody or be better than everybody, I feel like the world would be better. But be, everybody wants to have that power. It's just like everybody wants power. <laughs> that is the thing. Everybody wants that power. They want to be the elite. 
I don't know. I don't know. But if we all just said fuck it, if this world was really what the the dollar bill and everything said, everybody is equal and in God we trust, if everybody really believed like that, like we're all honestly equal. I don't even give a damn if you have a hundred thousand dollars in your purse or if you have ten dollars in your purse. At the end of the day, if a hundred dollars if a hundred thousand dollar woman was sitting beside a twenty dollar woman, they would still be like, Oh girl, we equal girl. You wanna eat? You only got twenty dollars, I got you today. And then be surprised that girl with the twenty dollars might turn around and be like, Well girl, I got gas. All I got is twenty, this is all I got. And then if that girl gave her last twenty to you because you fed her some food, then you gotta then I feel you would turn around and be like, Damn, she nice she gave me her last 20 here bitch take a hundred and then the girl with the hunt now got a hundred should be like oh my god i was blessed thank you so much and she gonna remember that woman then she'll go around and say, give that same type of energy to somebody else but no once we start getting that oh i got this i got that i got this they start to think i'm better than you i'm better than you i got more than you i oh god just speaking to me leave me alone get off my back Get off me, Jesus. I don't want to talk to them today. Get off me. They don't want to listen to me. <laughs> they don't want to listen to me, Jesus. Oh, get off me. <laughs> it's just all about how you treat people. What you do when you're around them is how you affect somebody else and how they look at somebody. But, oh, everybody want to judge and talk about everybody. So then when you start judging and telling these niggas they hoodlums, they this, they thugs, they in gangs, they'll never be something. You know, the more you say to somebody what they can and can't be and what they can and can't do, you are altering their mind to make, hold on. You are altering their mind to make them think that this is who and what they are. You got to be careful what you tell. Some people's mind aren't strong enough to believe that I'm not this. But when you tell somebody they are this, you are that, you are a piece of shit, you're that, they'll start to believe it. I got a feeling I never make it in life. That's what the system's saying. Well, honey, prove it wrong. I'm sorry, y'all. Get off me, Jesus. I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> Get off me. I don't want to talk to him. I don't know, y'all. I Thank you. She said, bless me. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, thank y'all for the bless me. <laughs> I need it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But y'all, yeah. I was, the devil don't want me to speak. He keep making my stuff go out. The devil don't want me to talk to y'all. <laughs> But y'all look, I was at the park the other day, right? Good morning. I was at the park the other day, and y'all, I'm, I'm telling y'all, y'all, God, well, y'all gonna laugh when I say this. But it's so y'all are going to laugh when I say this. God is after me. He is really after me, and it's so funny. Like Jesus, can I just? Just let me run a little while longer, okay? <laughs> let me run a little while longer. Look, he is after me because I've told y'all this a long time ago, even back on you now, that um, I used to have these dreams and stuff that God wants me to be a preacher. And everybody laughs when I say that. I said this a long time ago, that he wants me to be a preacher. I don't want to do it, Jesus, not yet. But so I was at the park the other day. This is this past Sunday. And a lady came up to me and she said she was a prophet, right? She said she was a prophet. And uh, she was like, I just need to talk to you. And I was like, what's up? Because I was chasing my little, it was my friend's son. I was chasing him around and um, playing with him. She's like, I just need to talk to you. I was like, okay. And she came up to me and she was like, um... I don't know what you want to do or whatever you want to do in your life, but she she she, she watches my videos. It's like I don't know what you want to do in your life or what you want to be, but God wants you to be a preacher. I was like, huh? <laughs> she was because I I know I said this a long time ago in my teenage years, and she was like, God wants you to be a preacher, and he's just saying, but you just got to be faithful, and you got to just he's like, cause you you're there, but he just wants you to just really commit all the way to him and be faithful faithful to it. She's like, and she was like, he just keeps telling me faithful, 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 faithful. Just, just stay there. And I was like, uh, 
<laughs> and it's just so funny that I've said this so many times. I say it all the time. And I said it once before on my podcast. I was like, um, not my podcast, on my Periscope. I was like, y'all, God want me to preach. And I, I just tell him, God, I'm not ready yet. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And, um, yeah. And it's just so crazy. She, and then she said, and it's something she said, because you're supposed to be a prophet. And I was like, what? And she was like, yes, you're supposed to be a prophet. And if y'all know what a prophet is, prophets can see things and, and, and feel things. And what do I, y'all, and the fact that she was saying this, y'all, what have I told y'all, my you know people, long time ago, what have I told y'all from day one on you now? Back on you now, I always said people, when I talk about this to people, they think I'm funny. I will always tell people, y'all, I can sense who a person is. Like, and I always say, God created us, or whatever the case may be, and if God created us, then why didn't he tap in and give us a little bit of his, um, a little bit of his, uh, his, 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 his powers, you know what I'm saying? So, I've always said it, and every time I say it, people laugh, but I be, I can feel people's spirits like your energy and like when i'd be doing the messy monday thing and i'd be looking at stuff and I, y'all be like oh zo called it zo called it he said this is gonna happen he said that even with like just people in life i could be like oh girl this this person gonna be like that or they gonna do this i see it it's like i don't know i get a vision or i feel it and it's just like whatever girl people don't believe me girl i don't know <laughs> i don't know somebody said an infant yes i'm not talking about no I, baby, no, I am not talking about feeling if you sad. I know what an empathy is. I'm not talking about feeling if you're sad, if you're happy, if you're angry. No, it's like a, this is why I don't talk about it because then people say you're crazy. It's something else. It's like, I can, I can feel you, like, sense you, like, even when you're like happy trying to like be ooh, I, even when if you're giving off happy and the whole room likes you I can just be like ooh something about that person ain't right but the whole room loves you but I'd be like it's something I can't put my hand on it but I know it's something there that just ain't sitting right in my spirit but everybody else loves that person um, and then I can just see like your like your life your path what you're supposed to do and be like ooh they gonna go down this path and do I don't know y'all it's it's hard to explain. Chris is here. Chris who? Uh oh, Chris. Somebody said a twerking preacher. No, y'all. You know, you know everybody that God called was actually a little off and crazy. Do you know that? Everybody has if you really read your Bible, I don't read, but this is just by me going to church. If you know if you really read your Bible, everybody that God called or that was on his side all had something wrong with them. Do you know that? That's why I be saying no sin is greater than another sin. So when y'all talk about homosexuality or when you talk about anything else, I just look at you and laugh because everybody that God called, everybody that was on his side, they all had some type of problem or they were a little crazy and off. You better read your Bible. Oh, God, I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him today. I don't want to talk to him. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. <laughs> Chris! Hey! <laughs> hey, Chris. Chris, you know what? Let me see, Chris. Let me just get off. Oh, y'all don't y'all ain't ready for me yet. Y'all ain't ready for me yet. She's like, hey Chris. What up though? Chris. What why you on? Um, why you want OnlyFans doing that stuff? Yeah, Whoa! No sin is greater than the other sin. I didn't say it was bad. <laughs> I'm saying why are you on there doing that stuff? I'm, I'm just making my bag for my sons. That's it. But you you have so much talent. You didn't have to do that. But if that's what you feel made your quick money, then <laughs> listen, I mean, do you? Listen, listen. Let me tell you something. Look, they shadow down my page on YouTube. What page, Chris? The uh, Chris Sales page, the one with the three million, they shadow banned it. That's why my views dropped. 
I noticed that because no, I'm your views that. dropped, Chris. Because just you got to be real, Chris. Your views dropped because all you did on there was complain, complain, Correct. complain. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. So that's, so that's not they, shadow ban. No, it is shadow ban because my subscribers. No, you shadow banned yourself, Chris. I didn't say I didn't shadow ban myself. I said my page is shadow ban. No, it's not. But you just said I shadow ban myself. <laughs> Meaning shadow. I, you gotta okay. Let me be more. Let me be more verbal. You shadow banned yourself, made, meaning not making people come back and watch you. Because okay, so, you, cause if so, you did, I'm like telling you now, if you, if I came on, I'm not, I'm not giving myself the big head, but if I came on your page today, or if Queen came on your page today, I promise you those views will go right back because it's, it's they're, no, those people aren't gone. It's just what you were feeding those people. And they were just like, you know what? All Chris going to say is, my, Talk about this. Complain about this. But I haven't, do this. I haven't, you know what's crazy? I haven't said any. I have stopped talking. About I this. know, but because you were doing it so much, Chris, they got tired of it and they left. Okay, okay, so okay, so how do so how do you explain this? So all you rebuild, so you saying, rebuild, you rebuild yourself, Chris. But I'm saying, how do you how do how do how do you describe this? All my uh, subscribers were saying that they didn't get my um. That they didn't get my notification when I uh, post. That shadow been right. When's the last time you post, Chris? I haven't posted in a while, but every time I did, that's all why. Get back active. You need to get back. Get back active, Chris. <laughs> Just shut up. Get back active and have fun. Can I do? Can a we messy make? Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna start doing messy. Can Tuesday. we what? Messy Tuesday. <laughs> 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 no, I'm saying for real. I don't. So, so what you think I should do on there? What you think I should do on there? Have fun. Stop thinking about what you want to do and just do what you used to do, which was just have fun. But uh, I'm about. I, I be by myself now, so what? I, it's nothing to do on. Like I don't know what the hell to do on YouTube by myself. Okay, Chris. Let's make us a. Let's make us a couple channel. Bro, Zoe, stop playing. See, you just always. Play. I'm not. <laughs> Let's make no. a couple channel. It could be just for YouTube. We we, we don't have to kiss. We don't have to, we don't have to kiss or anything. We'll just do couple stuff, but we won't kiss or nothing. I'm trying to be serious and have a real friend right now. You want to play? I'm being your friend. No, you're not. They talking about you were talking about me on Messy. What we're talking about worm. Yeah, I mean it is gummy, but it's not ugly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my! All right, you. All right, I just need you to help me. I'm not doing a couple. I'm not, you know. I'm we not. can. It'll be okay. It'll be a. We can call it bromance. Listen, Zoe, I love gay. Bromance. Gay. It's bromance. not. You don't. You're not being gay, Chris. It's a bromance. So it's just like, oh, it's like they should be a couple. Zoe. Uh -oh. <laughs> Bro, no. Just bro. Help so when me, I come, bro. when I come, to, when I come, hey. when I come down there and we do this video, I cannot. I promise you that I'm not gonna alert, but it's gonna be great. Hello. Listen, Chris. Uh, listen. Huh. Listen, can you, you can you hear me? You froze. You can hear me now. You froze. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hear me? Listen, your phone was breaking up. But listen, I heard what you said. But listen, so look, if we do a video, I'm not. Listen, I'm not home. Listen, 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 listen. You, I don't even know what to say to that because it's just like <laughs> I just don't know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> I just really don't. Like, just okay, don't. so I'm gonna come and do the video, and it's gonna it is what it is. No, it's not is what it is, nigga. I don't mean <laughs> like that. I mean like. <laughs> bro, no. I so I can so uh, I can I can spend a the night there. <laughs> no, bro. You, it's, a, it's this really nice hotel up the street from my. It's really. Nice. I will, bitch. I wish I would come there and stay in a fucking hotel. <laughs> what? I'm not staying in a hotel, Chris. <laughs> so so when you go so when you go to different states when you're saying hotels? Not if I have friends that live there, no. Man, you you a fake friend anyways. Always talking Chris, about Chris, they would love us together. Bro, no. Bro. At, on a channel, not together. 
So 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 we can do a messy Monday then. Okay, we can do that, Chris. Chris, let's just you know what we would, Chris. Bro, it's up. time to break the barrier. We, we could be the first people to say date whoever you want, no matter what. If you, Bro, and you, can, if, you know what? Even if you were to date me, Chris, you know you can go back. <laughs> Like, even if Chris dated me, he can go back to women. It's that's that's the funny thing. A girl would still date him afterwards. To be honest, why? Like, if I wanted to go date a girl right now, I could literally go date a girl right now. That's what people understand. As long as you're comfortable in who you are, you can go do what the hell you want to do. I can really honestly go get me a girlfriend right now. And if we, I break up with her, I can go get me a boyfriend right now and be just as cool. And it don't matter. Let's be real about the situation. That's why I'm so comfortable with who I am because I can go do what the fuck I want to do. <laughs> I can go do what the fuck I want to do. <laughs> you got to stop. Look at <laughs> I can. Uh-oh. I can, to be honest. Period. Uh, put it <laughs> girl, no, I'm not, girl. Same, baby. Right, go do what you want, girl. Go get you a pee. But, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in this post office, y'all. So I'm going to get my stuff. And um, I'm going to do a P.O. box opening in just a minute. Uh, LOL, if you can't. Right. People be thinking um, I can't. Oh God, this person going so fast. Okay, y'all, I'll be back. Let me go get let me go get this post office stuff and I'll be back, okay? Oh shit.